Hello. So today I'm going to have a go at soft modding this original Xbox. I got this off eBay quite recently. Um, it works fine. It's a UK model. I've got a bunch of US games, which is quite annoying because my original original one of these, which I got on US release day, but here in the UK, has gone walkabouts. One of my moves, house moves, is is vanished. Anyway, I've got this. I think I've got everything I need. I have a Xbox to USB adapter. I have an original Xbox, no chip inside. I have Splinter Cell, which I believe is the one of the main games I need to um, use a soft mod. My original one, I did a hardware mod on it. When he's, oh, can't remember what it's called now. I just sold it in. A little 2 gig USB, ancient USB, common cheap one. Hopefully that'll be alright. And I'm going to follow a YouTube guide by someone called Pence, P3NCE. As of October 26, he's got a 2020 OG Xbox software guide plus upgrade hard drive, Rocky 5, XPMC for gamers. This is all new to me. Give it a go. I might as well replace the drive as well. I'm searching for my old hard drives, the biggest I've got is a 250 gig IDE. Um, I don't really want to use an IDE to start a converter. I've got dozens and dozens of drives, but that's the biggest IDE I have. So I'm just putting that through its paces at the moment, make sure it's okay. And we'll just crack on. So the first things on um I'll put a link in the description for what I'm following. I'm just following another YouTube video, so it's kind of a bit of a YouTube inside YouTube, slightly meta, but might be quite interesting. Um there's a bunch of downloads which I've done. Um and the first thing was format this, which was okay. Stick it in the, the Xbox. Go to memory. It should come up, it needs formatting. There you go. Memory unit you've inserted isn't working, it's been erased. Good. And it needs to appear there on the left, and it does. So that's step one done. Or well, step two, step one is downloading everything. Oh, by the way, I'm using the um, original Xbox to HDMI adapter here, USB power, plugs in the Xbox, HDMI up. And the picture quality is pretty decent, I think. Well, the little instruction book that comes with it. My instruction note. There's not much of an instruction book, is it? There's not much. It does say. The original Xbox to HDMI converter is a universal converter for analog composite input to HDMI 1080p output. So it does composite. That's a pretty decent composite if you ask me. You can kind of see it when it moves. Slightly breakdown, but um, I'm quite happy with that. It's pretty cheap. 15 quid or so off Amazon. So, let's have a look at the next step. Okay, here are the downloads, and I've extracted them all. So, inside the Xbox soft mod into soft mod package, so you extract the game. You've got SC, I assume, is Splinter Cell. I've got the power version. So SC power extracted that, um, and then you've got to use this. Explorer 360 tool. I run that. I get this MSVCR 71 DLL is missing, so let's go and download that. So you just Google that. I'm going to trust this site. It's up to you whether you want to trust it or not. It's been around for donkey years, this one. Um, don't click the advert. There you go, next one there, download. Go adverts, yeah, whatever. Oh. So that's 
I should have downloaded. There it is. Let's stick that into here. Run it again. And there we go. So, let's take the memory stick, stick it in the PC. It'll come up that it needs formatting. Don't do that. Explore 360. You should be able to do open hard drive or mem card. There we go. And now I want to go and get those games. I don't know which one it is to be honest. Let's do the soft mod save one. Can you just drag it? Yeah. There you go, let's copy in that. Oh, here they are. Sound effects in the background there. Come on. Got me beer. It's up for save, let's do SC power as well. So let's copy over quickly. Uh, close it, open it, and it's all there. Cool, close. Quit that. Then stick the into the Xbox so I'm going to get rid of that put the card in here so back on the Xbox so bring the card in memory controller 2 ah oh, there we go we got splinter cell Select that. Oh, delete it. Ah, there we go. Copy. What did that say? Then slid to sell Linux profile. Yeah, copy that. Copy to Xbox hard disk. So I'm done. And the Xbox soft modding tool. Copy. Xbox hard disk. Done. Okay, so now let's go into the game and load this save game. Spin sale was three quid off eBay. I wasn't sure which one to go for, so I made sure I found the fully original one, not a repackaged or anything. Never actually played this game. Is it any good? I do. Let's start again. Linux. Yeah, we'll select that. Checkpoint. Select that. Black 
green, red ring, Let's try that again. Ooh. Again, the next checkpoints. I can hear the hard drive being read and oh 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 Xbox Soft Window, thank you for choosing the Xbox Soft Window. Process is simple and pain free. All we have to do is press A. A. Sound that Seagate hard drive from a mile away. No idea how long this takes. Your equal backup will be placed in there. I understand. Even means required to create a new hard drive for this system. In case your Xbox hard drive dies, you need the EPUM.bin file to create a new locked drive. That's why it's important to back it up and keep it safe. Okay. Well, that's you all soft modded. See, I told you it was a painless process. So when you see the green flubber animation, take the disc out. That's what flubber is. I love the clever people who have done this. Another reboot. All through a weakness in a game save. Look at that. Rocky 5. What have we got? Let's go the other way. Load here to play with, haven't I? So, what's next? Okay, so by doing this, I've got two things I want to achieve. First of all, I want to be able to play American games. Secondly, I want to put a new hard drive in it. So let's do the American game thing first. Let's go settings. 
Oh, what are they hidden? Auto switch, multi region. Sounds good, isn't it? Can't be that easy, surely. So I've got Halo, NTSC. It's never going to be this easy, surely. Tray, initialize. Tray, halo. Launch disk. It really is that easy. Oh, it really is that easy. I don't know if I've got an orange LED here now. Oh, I've not played this in like 20 years or whenever it is. Oh, it must be, can't be far off. Uh, Dreamcast of 20, yeah. <sighs> Dreamcast 22 years this week, wasn't it? This was a couple of years after. Into the video goes into a lot more detail. It talks about capacitors you might want to change, how to fix your DVD drive if it doesn't want to read, um, various bits and bobs, different games. I've only got the um, Splinter Cell. Sorry for the quick flaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. The disorientation should pass quickly. the back, sir. This control is so chunky. But that's working for everybody, isn't it? That's brilliant. So, next step. Oh, music, this is fantastic. Next step, new hard drive. That can be the next video. Cool. Thanks, Pence. Thanks ever for watching. Catch you next time for a hard drive upgrade. <laughs>